Hello and welcome into the latest edition of Sun Devil's Sit Down. I'm Eliov Gavai, joined by freshman phenom Lou Genstort. Let's get right into it. He got the national attention. Of course, a great time in Vegas. Pac-12 Player of the Week. Did you think he'd be this impactful this quickly? I mean, when I first started, I didn't know it was it would have been that fast after five games. But now that, that it happens, I'm just really happy. When I say freshman phenom, I mean it. 23, 8, 2, and 2, doing a little bit of everything. What is it about Bobby Hurley and his system that's made you so comfortable? I mean, at first, when he first started recruiting me, it's really it was about all this transition, the way he was playing, uh, the way the team was playing, and then it's, it was really about uh, learning how to play the, uh, the guard too. And then since I've been here, it's, it's been really great, and I'm, and I'm learning a lot. And of course, you just mentioned tradition. The brotherhood here has seemed to really come along. Why do you think you guys have meshed so well? For me, I think it's because last year when I when I committed so early, uh, early, and then I I, I came I came to Tempe a lot. Of, and I, I got to meet a lot of guys like Kimani and uh, Zylan and Romello and all them. And then I feel like if, if we were just close to each other since the summer too, and then right now we're just a, a real family. Yeah, and it's of course your first season at ASU. You already spoke about Tempe. What are your early impressions of Sun Devil Nation and Wells Fargo Arena? I, I was talking to my teammates last time. I was telling them that when people come here, it's really hard. It's really hard to play us at home because of the uh, the student section and the fan base we have here. And then it's just really great and loud. And then hearing all of them cheering our, our names are, are for us. It's, it's just great. Imagine cheering the names, yelling after you, the curtain of distraction, the whole nine. So. Does it take time to get used to this kind of college attention? At first it did, the first couple games, like the first two games it did, but like right now, we, we just on the court, in the court over there and, and having fun. Of course, with the college attention comes that college competition. So going into the rest of the non-conference schedule, it doesn't get much easier. Kansas, Nevada coming up. Do you prepare any differently for those kind of games? Oh, I think we will. I mean, it's, it's, it's some, some ranked teams and then some, some, some bigger teams and then I just think that we, we have to uh, go harder in practice and then and be ready for them team. Of course, you and Remy Martin, known to go hard at practice at one another. How has he helped your progression here at ASU so far? I mean, he helped me really good. The fact that he plays on, he plays really hard on defense in practice. So now uh, when I'm in the game playing against some, some smaller guards and, and really quick when they're guarding me, I, I don't really feel that much pressure because Remy always used to do that pressure in practice and now I'm, I'm used to it. Still so early in your career, but what other weapons have we yet to see in your arsenal? I'm, I'm starting to have a better feel for my, my three-point shot. I'm, I feel like I'm getting more consistent right now. And it's just now I'm, I'm trying to get my, uh, my teammates more involved. So there's, there's some, uh, some more things coming, yeah. Well, we'll see how deep Lou's bag really is as the season goes on. And let's see if they can ride that momentum as the season progresses. But thank you so much, Lou. Thanks for joining me. Uh, for Lou Genstort, I'm Eliav Gabay. This has been Sun Devil Sit Down.